Okay, listen to the story and then I will ask you some questions after, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is from the book New Practice Readers by Anderson, Stone, and Burton. A robber animal. The raccoon is a very clever animal. It has strong claws and it can use them well. Across its face, there is a black band. This makes the raccoon look like a robber. And a robber is just what the raccoon is. Raccoons will steal anything. They steal honey. They steal chickens. They steal eggs from birds' nests. They even steal farmers' corn. Baby raccoons, like our own babies, need much care. When they cry, they sound like our babies, too. Next time you are in the woods, be on the lookout for Raccoon the Robber. Okay, did you understand the story? Did you understand the story? Did you like the story? One word you heard was robber. Robber. What is a robber? A robber is someone or something that steals right? To rob is like to steal. Not quite right, but that's more of a burglar. But this story calls it a robber. That's more advanced, though. There is a difference between a burglar and a robber. But raccoon the robber sounds nice, right? R, R, alliteration. R, R. The Dalai Lama. Actually, I know who he is. I've never met him. Is he your friend? Okay, you heard an yeah, a robber is like a thief. Excuse me, you heard another word. Clever. What does clever mean? C L E V E R clever. What does clever mean? Yeah, it's like it's like smart, but it's a synonym for smart. It's a little different. It's almost like tricky, right? It's like yeah, intelligent but like a tricky intelligence. <laughs> Not wisdom, no. No, that's different. Wisdom is a very, to be wise is, is a very positive term. To be clever is not necessarily positive. It's like he's clever. <laughs> Intelligence, but maybe a little bit devious. So I'll tell you a personal story about a raccoon. One time I was sitting in the backyard, just sitting in the backyard, and a big raccoon came up. This was at night, just sitting at the yard, sitting in the yard at night by myself, being quiet, not doing anything. 
And a raccoon, big old raccoon, walks up like a bear. I said, what are you doing? That raccoon got close to me, about two feet away. Very bold, right? They're very bold animals. They're not scared, right? So that raccoon gets up. I said, hey, you need to get out of here. He stood up on his hind legs. And he got into a wrestling stance like he was going to karate fight me like this. He started doing this. And I said, I will kick you over the fence. <laughs> and he ran away. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> But they're very bold. They are not afraid. They'll run, but only when they have to, right? <laughs> that raccoon wanted to fight me. Just like this with his little hands. <laughs> He's about this tall. <laughs> Also today, in the backyard, I found some poop that might be raccoon poop. So I don't. I think it's the same guy because that was like seven years ago. But <laughs> could be the raccoon because we don't have pets. So anyway. Okay, let me, let me ask you some questions. Let's see if you remember. Can you remember? The raccoon looks like a robber because of the black across its... What? Uh, we do have some woods nearby. Not super close, but maybe a mile away. We get a lot of animals though, a lot of birds, a lot of deer. There are foxes and of course there are raccoons. So not woody, but woods. Okay, number one, the raccoon looks like a robber because of the black across its, what? What's this? Face, right? The raccoon looks like a robber because of the black across its face. Or maybe you could say across its eyes. Yes, the black band across its eyes, like a mask, right? Like an old-fashioned burglar. What does the raccoon have on its paws? I don't know, does a raccoon have paws? A raccoon to me has more like little hands, but... I guess for an animal, we don't say hands unless it's a monkey. We might say paws. I say paws for cats, you know, rabbits, dogs, but the raccoon has got like the finger and the thumb and everything. Anyway, this book calls it paws. I call it hands. What does the raccoon have on its paws? Claws, right? The raccoon has claws. I'm going to look that up right now. Does a raccoon have paws or hands? That's a good question. Does a raccoon have paws or hands? Oh, this says the raccoon does not have opposable thumbs. In fact, their front paws do not look human or even primate. Okay, so the book is right. They are similar in shape to a weasel or a ferret paw, but there is no webbing between the front toes at all, giving the digits the look of fingers. Okay, so this book is correct. A uh, raccoon does have paws, P-A-W-S, right? I call them hands because they look like little hands. But the raccoon has claws, 
on its paws, right? Like a cat, right? A cat has claws. Many animals have claws. <sighs> okay, tell me. The story as a whole is about A, raccoons, B, animal babies, C, chickens, D, a walk in the woods. This is multiple choice. Is it A, B, C, or D? Number three, the story as a whole is about A, raccoons, B, animal babies, C, chickens, D, a walk in the woods. Yes, A, raccoons. That's an easy one, right? Okay, number four. Tell me yes or no. Raccoons like birds' eggs. Raccoons like birds' eggs. According to this story. According to the reading. Yes, right? Yes, that's true. Number five, raccoons are afraid of chickens, yes or no? Raccoons are afraid of chickens, yes or no? No, they are not, no. Teacher Tom says raccoons are very bold, right? That's not in the story, but Teacher Tom says raccoons are very bold. That means they are not afraid. They, they will fight you like this, like say like this fight you. Say, come on, come on, come on, teacher Tom, come on. <clears throat> okay. What word in the story means sharp nails? What means sharp nails? We use this word already. Sharp nails. We can also say claws, right? Well, humans have nails, right? This is a fingernail. But a cat or a raccoon and many other animals have claws. Hi, Kate. How are you? Look at this raccoon. I says, hi, you guys. I'm just a raccoon. I like to steal everything in your yard. Give me all your food. If you have a cat, I will eat the cat food. I will come in the middle of the night and steal everything. 